Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our full body strength and mobility exercises. So what I'm doing here today is I'm combining strength training, so I will be using a light pair of dumbbells. You'll also need a chair or coffee table or just something that you can place your hands down on. Now if you don't mind, you can go down onto the floor and do that particular exercise down low but if you not, if you find it difficult to get up and down off the floor you will need something with a little bit of height so a little bit of sturdy furniture will be great for that okay so we're working for intervals of 10 transition or a little rest 50 to work and you can increase the rest time or the transition time to 20 seconds if you need it so we're just mixing up a little bit of strength training today with a little bit of mobility okay so these exercises are going to bring mobility into a, a lot of parts of your body, like particularly the shoulders. We'll be doing exercises that you won't typically see me doing in an actual workout. We might see it more in a cool down. So I'm going to incorporate those today. Right, let's get warmed up. All right. So a lot of the moves today, we will actually bring some mobility into the shoulder area, the hips and other joints in the body that you may not actually think about working when you're working out yourself okay now let's bring the arms out to the side engage the core now right from the start good work that's it now nice big swings with the arms contracting the muscles as well so straight away get some contraction into those shoulder muscles there as you lift the arms up in the air feel that contraction in your shoulder and let's get all these joints warmed up they'll certainly need it for today so we have 25 moves okay so again lots of variety in this workout I'm going to keep your brain um, guessing today okay keep you awake now reach up over your head if you can okay so the higher those arms come up over your head the more you'll increase your heart rate. Now, I'm not really looking for cardio today. You may or may not get, you may get it, you may not. But today's workout is just more slower type moves. Working on your strength a little bit more. Okay, let's rest those arms now. Just focus on the legs. If you can bend your knees a little bit deeper, go ahead and move off the spot. That's it, good. Bring one foot over to the other move forward and back just getting off the spot helps to warm up those joints a little bit more efficiently that's it good make your way back now hold it here give me four and we'll do some heel digs three two and one heel dig heel dig some bicep curls we've got a couple of exercises coming up today where we'll be doing bicep curls or hammer curls. The difference between a bicep curl is the palms face the ceiling. A hammer curl is you rotate the palms inwards and they face each other. That's all. Just hits different muscle groups in the, the forearm there and the upper arm. That's it. Bend your knees slightly. Good. Now let's march it out here and just bringing one arm up out in front frontal raise i'm warming up those shoulders now nice and efficiently today because some of the moves are going to be working on your shoulder mobility if you can come up bring your arm up towards your earlobe or up over your head go ahead with that because that'll really increase your range of movement there in your shoulder that's it up and up good you're still keeping the core engaged for me that's it make sure you feel that little bit of tension in around your belly button and your transversus abdominis your deep abdominal tummy muscle good now let's do two arms bring them back behind you as well up back up back that's it up push back now i want you to really get the muscles now to get do some work for you so lift up contract push back push that water back behind you lift up contract the shoulders push back contract your triceps that's it and all the time you're keeping your posture upright you're looking forward engaging your core good that's it great work two more 
now we're going to just open the legs a little bit here and we're going to reach across that's it reach across keep breathing for me now breathe out get that air in breathe it out for me that's it good stretch right across feel a lovely stretch in your trunk area right down to your hip it's lovely really nice it's a morning workout these are great moves to do and of course if you can't be re reaching this high over your head bring your arm down in front of your body that's it good well done try and keep your hips facing the front here that's it good last four you should be feeling some nice work going on there in your back muscles two more last one let's take it back to a quick march we're going to chest press shoulder press and we have this move coming up today and i included it because it is wonderful for strengthening your shoulders and also for keeping that that joint very mobile so you push up to the ceiling push out nice combination exercise good you're hitting a lot of areas of the body here by combining just by doing two simple moves and it's great for uh, saving time as well and we're all for that aren't we in this busy life this busy world the busy lives we lead today push out reach up push reach push and reach two more keep the legs moving now last one now, i'm sure you feel like you need a rest there okay let's change into rainbow legs good hips facing the front as much as you can try not to be rotating those hip uh, joints there keep those hip bones facing the front that's it first move actually is two two of these two rainbow legs into two curtsy lunges now i'm going to do a full curtsy lunge today but i will show you a modified version and then we're taking it into a shoulder press so the first move is very very much a combination move of three moves all rolled into one so that's just really wonderful for your mobility now if you don't have any weights on hand this is actually a really good workout to do body weight as well because it'll teach you how to get your body into certain positions particularly if you're new to exercise and if you are new you might be best to do it just body weight that's it good and introduce weight as you get stronger and more efficient at the exercises that's it good feel a nice stretch there in your inner thighs now hold it here two feet together now we're just going to go out into a, a lunge back to the middle and then the other side good and uh, bend your knee just gently here just a small little range of movement is fine we have some lunges side lunges coming up as well today so we'll get the nervous system the body ready tune it in good chest up for me you can use the hands in prayer position to encourage your chest to stay upright that's it good great work two to go and then we'll start this workout okay so have your chair handy if that's what you're using a coffee table like i say would be brilliant for hip extensions we're going to chair hip extensions where you rest your hands on the chair and then we're going to just kick the feet the foot up to the ceiling okay right if you're using weights grab those 10 50 first move let me just show you keep your feet moving there my marching so we're doing we're putting the weights out in front two rainbow legs like we just did two curtsy lunges so stepping the leg back behind you watch you don't have any obstacles and then into a shoulder press it's a lovely lovely move if you can't do curtsy lunges just step it back okay because they do require a lot of mobility and balance right 10 seconds to go okay right enjoy yourself i'm really really looking forward to this one now it's a bit different this workout today okay abs in two rainbow legs 50 seconds of work or reduce the work time if you have to do your two curtsies whether you're going to do these ones shoulder press or modify them rainbow a little bit slower today now curtsy 
and into shoulder good one two curtsy for two and then one shoulder press that's it taking your time this is why i picked 50 seconds today some of the moves do require that amount of time and come on we might get one more one two and get that shoulder press down okay now we're going to do one side pendulum into a mini squat leg crosses the body okay so let's get ready hold the weights out and gobble it so we're doing one side pendulum sit into a little squat and one leg pendulum sit down one leg pendulum sit into your seat cross the leg that's it pendulum sit down cross good pendulum now really squeeze those outer hip muscles there from that glute medius as you lift good sit down i know my brain has to think about it that's it squeeze sit cross lift sit cross lift sit and it's the other side after this 10 seconds okay and again lift sit and cross okay little march in the middle good keeping the body ready to move other leg now think of the other leg lift sit cross lift sit cross the body lift sit down and cross do you feel that lovely action going on there in your inner thigh as you cross that leg it's that really old-fashioned exercise we used to do years ago there we go they have the machines in the gym for it as well where you cross your leg you can you really feel it's good hip work that's it and that's what we're here today we're aiming to get these hips mobile shoulders full body really lift sit cross lift sit cross lift and i'm just going to finish it out and cross next one's very simple it's just a knee raise and it's got that chest press and shoulder press coming too okay so knee raise get the knees going first abs in tight chest shoulder that's it good now keep your knees coming up towards your belly button if you can if you don't start if you start arching your back just bring them down a little lower that's it good now this is great like i said in the warm-up for the mobility and the strength of the shoulder particularly if you're picking up weights it'll be tough to do now if you've gone heavy with your weights for close to a minute you can have a little rest if you need to rest your arms down that's it abs engaged we're nearly there now already less than 10 seconds so hang in with me good now we've got a hip extension move next so i'll just show you lift your leg up get your balance and then we're going to do a lateral raise okay so lifting and down squeeze your glutes and down you look like you're flying flying off there on me that's it lift and down that last move really got my heart rate up <laughs> so you probably will find you some of the moves will bring a little bit of cardio training into it today and others will be very much strength focused lift this will allow the heart rate to come down good squeeze your glutes that's it try not to arch your back tall spine for me that's it good now even when you're down in this sort of plank position here don't arch your back don't let your back bow okay be strong with your core good the other leg next okay now i'm gonna keep my feet moving because my heart rate's still quite high from the knee raise chest press shoulder press my other leg take note what leg now that has to be moved next okay so get your balance plant that foot down don't rush into it even leave out the arms if you have to to get that balance good and lift now i want you to feel what's going on in your shoulders 
Could you feel that lovely pull there at the front of the chest? This is again good mobility for the shoulder area and the chest area. And at the same time, we are getting our strengthening our glutes here, gluteus maximus, hip extension, your hamstrings. So good work in, for in around the hips as well. That's it, good. Squeeze, you should be feeling the muscles between your shoulder blades squeezing as you raise the weights up. Good, okay, well done. Now we have a narrow squat and a side lunge, okay? Now we're only staying on one side with the side lunge and we'll do, do the other side next. Narrow, side lunge. You might be able to get a little deep with your lunges now that you, you got those into the warm up too. Sit down, step it out. Sit down, step it out. Good, just stay on one side with your lunge. Step it out, keep your chest held high now. Chest up, that's it, look at me. Good, don't be looking at the floor. Think about good posture all the time. The weights are here just to add a little bit of resistance. They also help to keep your posture upright, which is what I love about holding them in front here, like in a goblet position. Sit down. Good, so again, we're working a lot of muscle groups here. Working the quads, hamstrings, inner thighs, that groin area. Good, now. I didn't think I'd get really hot cardio today, but here we go. Once you pick up the weights, I think. <laughs> Other side, narrow squat, out to the side. Sit down and out. Good and out and of course this will really help your balance as well i think any time where you kind of go off into a lunge you're going to challenge your balance there's no doubt about it this will be one of the easier lunges though for balance so if you're not used to lunging this will be a good one to start with this and i think forward lunges i think the pendulum lunges they're the ones that are really quite tricky and if you're ever trying those, I do add them to my workout sometimes. Definitely, if you're learning how to do them, go body weight. Good. Okay, well done. Now we've got two step backs. All right, get that down first, keeping the heel up. And then we're going to do some internal and external rotation. This one's a little tricky for um, coordination. So if you find it too hard, go ahead if you want to step back there. Just march it, do little marches and uh, do it like that, or just stand still, okay? Because again, I'm not looking for cardio today. That's it, get the arms going. You have to try and keep your elbows tucked in, and that's what makes this challenging. So if you can see, my elbows are pretty much in contact with my rib cage. That's it, good. So again, you're gonna feel muscles working here that you probably never feel. This is working those little stabilizers in around the shoulder, your rotator cuff. You might be familiar with the rotator cuff. Very, very common injuries for a lot of people there, particularly if you play sports and that. Good. Posture upright as usual. Great work. Okay. Right. Now where are we? Narrow, narrow squat. Oh yeah, so we're going to do... Oh yeah, dumbbells by the... Le no, I'm actually going to leave them up here. Narrow squat wide squat okay so we're into narrow squat wide squat that's it narrow wide so I'm just keeping your 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 hips now nice and mobile here that's it good well done And sit down. Good. Keep your chest up for, right for me. That's it. And sit down. Good work. Okay. Now we have some squat and side reaches. Okay. So we're just going to squat down and reach. Squat and reach. That's it. Sit down and reach. Good, reach across and reach and reach across. Good, reach across. 
sit into your little seat up on your toe and a lovely lovely stretch there for your trunk that's it reach across reach great work should be feeling good now this will actually bring the heart rate up as well because again it's these type of moves where there's a lot of bouncing going on so it can actually increase the heart rate a little bit for you reach no harm it's getting me nice and warm here in these cold mornings and reach across okay good work now we have our split squats this is a tough one and then we're going to do some hammer curls okay now if you can't get down into a split squat do what you can you might even have to put the weights down and hold on to a chair for balance because it, it really does challenge the balance this move that's it now i want you to really focus on the upper and the lower half working so the lower half down into your stationary lunge or split squat the upper half you're squeezing tuck in those elbows to your rib cage you are squeezing those biceps okay good work try and find that balance there i know this is a hard one little ones if you can't just little mini ones even they're tough on the quads they'll wake them up for you that's it good okay good work now we have other leg so we've got to get that other leg worked as well okay get ready get your balance before you start even if you need a few extra seconds good up and down now found my balance now i'll get those biceps involved good and abs engaged head held high to the ceiling that'll really help you as well that's it good keep going now keep the core engaged here because that really really does help with your balance now we have the chair exercise next okay so if you have that handy that'll be great or you can go down onto the floor if you can okay just there now last one okay now put your weights down for the next one this is body weight make sure your chair is flush up against something so it's not going to move on a wooden floor if you're on a carpeted area you're okay and we are just going to pretend you have a tray on that foot <laughs> lift it up to the ceiling good lift it up squeeze those glutes for me that's it squeeze your glutes squeeze good now this is a really wonderful exercise for your gluteus maximus the muscle that we sit on and your hamstrings and we're also going to work that stationary leg good keep going now for me 15 seconds can you hang in it's a tough one it's a very small move don't try and make it too big try not to arch that back either okay just a little move good four seconds three two and rest okay that's a tough one that's a tough one i'm going to come up and just give my legs a little bit of a breather shake them out okay let's get down and get ready now 50 seconds is hard for this one you might feel like you need a little bit of extra time to rest out good and lift and squeeze squeeze good work So what we've go, we're going back to side lunges next but we're going to alternate this time okay that's it good and squeeze try and keep your body in a straight line and don't arch your back okay so keep the abdominals engaged there that's it keep the tummy muscles switched on good six seconds come on you can stay with it stay with it you're just there last one good work okay now bring your weights up with you okay if you want to if you need a break from the weights that's fine now we're just going to do side to side lunges okay all right so over and now other side that's it over and over good 
work, keep moving. If you can get down a little deeper now if you can. If you can't, that's fine. And even if you find lunging too difficult, you can just do sidestepping. It is still technically a lunge. And as you progress and get stronger, you can start dropping the hips down towards the floor, feeling a lovely stretch on your groin. That's it, good. Keeping those hips healthy here. Using some resistance with the weights out in front. That's it, good. Okay, well done. That was great. Now we have, we're just going to rotate our palms towards our face, then turn them and then up to the ceiling, okay? So you can keep the feet moving if you like, or you can stay still if you feel like this, it's a bit technical, this exercise. So palms facing your face, rotate and up. That's it, good. Rotate and up. Up to the ceiling, that's it. Right up, good. And up, so this is just a press with rotation. And again, so, uh, uh, something you may not think about doing by yourself, you might just stick to a regular shoulder press. But here we're adding that light little rotation, just adding an extra dimension to the exercise. That's it, good. You can open your legs, give them a wide stance for balance as well. Engaging your tummy muscles as usual to keep your back nice and straight and lift it up. Good, well done, that's a nice exercise. You can really feel a bit of work going on in the shoulders. Calf raises are next. Okay, I'm going to bring in some bicep curls. Well, let's get the calves going first. Up and up. If you need to put the weights down here and hold on to a chair for balance, that's fine, okay? Good. Now, bicep curls. Tuck the elbows into your ribs. Keep everything nice and safe. That's it, good. And squeeze. Bring the dumbbells up towards, your, up towards that shoulder area. And really give me a good contraction there of the biceps, the front of the upper arm. Squeeze, you can see them working there. That's it, good. Now again, it's a combination of hybrid moves, so focus on the legs as well. Squeezing those calf muscles as you reach up onto your toes. That's it, good. Nearly there now. Got some figure eights coming next. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're literally just going to draw a figure eight, okay? Now, okay, let's go. So figure eight, you can make it a big eight or you can make it a smaller eight, okay? I like the big one. Do you see what's happening here? Yes, we are getting wonderful, wonderful mobility in around the shoulder area again and you might feel your upper back muscles as well. That's it, good. And if you can make it even bigger, that is great. This is such a simple exercise and it is so beneficial. And again, it's probably something you probably never think about doing. Now, when we try and go the other way, can you do a backwards eight? That's it, just for the last few seconds. I like to kind of go both directions when I'm working out. Okay. Good work. Now we have some torso twists and punch out now. Torso twists, punch out. That's it. Now this might bring your heart rate up because you're punching with dumbbells. Let's go now. There's your beeper. Tap the floor there. Tap. Tap with your toe. Nice little toe taps. Punch. Now if you can punch the ceiling, great. That's it. Good. You can work in all directions. You can punch down to the floor. That's it. Good. Punch out, good work. Punch and punch. And up, if you can. If you can't, just stick with the lower punches, that's it. Keep your tummy muscles really tight and engaged here, okay? Don't let your hips rotate. That's it, good work. Come on, you can do it. That's it, punch and punch. Just there now, last one. Good stuff, that's great. Now. We have some back flies. We're gonna go for three. So just say I've done three there and three back rows. Okay, so there's our time to go. Sit your hips back, engage your abdominals. One, two, three flies. And now three rows. Row it back. Now I want you to really contract your 
trapezius, your rhomboids, they're your posture muscles as you do both of these moves. So then just retracting your shoulder blades gently, that's it. Drive those, keep those elbows close to your side when you're doing the rows. Time goes quick on these combination moves. This is why we needed those 50 seconds today. I think you'll agree. One, two, three, one, two, three. We might get a couple of flies in. One and two. Good work. Okay, now toy soldiers are very familiar with this move. You can leave the weights up high because that really uh, challenge your shoulders here. That'll really work on your strength of your shoulders. So lifting up and we're working on hamstring mobility here. The back of the legs, you may feel some calf come into it. And again, this will be a tough one for 50 seconds or so. You can always rest the weights in front of your body here if you need a little rest. That's it, just take your rest if you need. It's, it's better than your back starting to compensate and kick in. Okay, so abs in. You can hold the weights out in front for 10 seconds and rest it out. That's it, kick, kick. Kick it out, that's it, good. We're nearly there now, but three seconds. Oh, I can feel the elbows wanting to bend there, okay. 22 minutes, good work. Now, dumbbell snatch, an old familiar of mine. Love this exercise. Okay, we're gonna stay on one side. We're gonna use this hand here as a little bit of um, balance for the body. So right up by the earlobe. Good, now again, like a swing, we are bringing some hip extension into it. There was no way I was going to do this workout today without bringing in some sort of a swing into it because it is amazing hip work. It's amazing mobility and strength for those hips and the glutes. That's it, so reach up, good. Reach up. We are so close to being finished our workout today. This is amazing. I feel really good after this. It was a bit of a different kind of class today, but very enjoyable. So that's it, reach up, squeeze those glutes like you do with your dumbbell swing. That's it, good, okay. Take a moment, we're going on to the next leg now. Sorry, the next arm and legs, yep. Okay, down we go, use the other weight for balance. Squeeze, that's it. Squeeze your glutes without arching your back. Snap out those hips. Good work. Snap out those hips, that's it. Come on, you can do this. It's great work here for those hips. Also for your tummy. This is like a crunch for your tummy and of course for the shoulders here. Keep going for less than 20 seconds. Keep that arm now nice and long by the ear. Okay, don't let the arm go too, don't let it travel too far past your earlobe or you'll end up then just arching your back. Couple of seconds, that's it, good work. Now our last move is the dumbbell swing, okay? You can't do a strength workout or mobility workout without getting in the swing. So again, now you've seen me do it before. Um, we're going to fire those hips forward, press the weight into our heels. Don't worry about bringing the arms up too high. In fact, I think the lower the better because it'll really help you just to focus on your actual hip extension. That's it, good. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze, that's it, good. Look forward. If you feel a little bit dizzy with the dumbbell swing, just keep your head pretty still, okay? You don't have to look at the floor. Last 15 seconds and you're done for today. I hope you're feeling as good as I do now. That's it, good. You've really brought a lot of mobility into your body today. Good. And squeeze, and there you go. 25 minutes in the bag. Great work. Big thumbs up to you as usual. Okay, I think we are silenced there. Now, your heart rate's probably up a little bit now with the last three moves, the dumbbell snatch and dumbbell swing, they really will bring 
bring the heart rate up because your hand is coming up high over your head and you're using big muscle groups okay so well done that was a wonderful wonderful workout i'm going to link up a cool down for you now in the description box below the video you'll see a cool down playlist so if you go there get your cool downs in don't don't skip them it's really important so just like this workout really will help you with your mobility spending time on your you bringing your muscles back into their normal state and also to get a bit of mobility into your hips it's just so wonderful it's going to make exercises like lunges so so much easier for you and uh, split squats and things like that just being able to drive your knee down to the floor that's just kind of can be a mobility and a balance issue for a lot of people so spend time on your cool down i can't stress how important it is thank you so much for joining me today if you liked the video maybe give it a thumbs up that really really does help the channel to be pushed out to more people like yourself and if you haven't subscribed make, maybe consider subscribing i'm posting new workouts every mondays wednesdays and fridays have a great day big thumbs up to you i will see you again really soon bye bye